Bellwether has resumed standard cruising velocity. All Raiden fighters are confirmed, deployed, and operational. So, here we are. The grand finale. Everything we've got is riding on this. If we lose, the PCD's done for. And even if we do win, one misstep and those crystals will be happy to finish what we started. Just another impossible mission for humanity, right? The sent trajectory locked for the crystal homeworld. Numerous contaminated weapons detected in satellite orbit. All units proceed with caution. As expected, they're lying in wait. But here's the thing. We're not here to play it safe. Any enemy that blocks our descent, will cut right through them. End of story. Impressive tech. I'll give them that. But here's a thought. What if the contamination runs deep, like the whole planet? If that's true, then their so-called home was lost long before we even got here. Is this what Earth's future holds? A planet stripped of life and hope? We're here to shut this down. Take the enemy out right at the source. No frills, no heroics. Copy that, sir. Um... One moment. Detecting unusual readings. Data confirms the planet once supported life. But current atmospheric analysis reveals mostly carbon dioxide and minimal nitrogen levels. Oh, please, spare me the nerdy rundown! This isn't a seminar, sweetheart! Apologies, Madame Barbarossa. This atmospheric profile resembles something I've analyzed before. Sir, ultra-high energy readings are confirmed from a deep subterranean location. This is an unfamiliar signature, suggesting a strong likelihood of it being the target source. Not to say, that's predictable. Have the radar look for loose energy. Somewhere out there, there's an opening with our name on it. Understood, sir. Sensors indicate an energy leakage from a subterranean location in the target area. Redirecting all right end fighters to that position. Nice work. You catch that, Raiden? Looks like it's time to take this fight underground. Let's not waste any time. Set course for the target. Sir, Raiden has completed a successful incursion landing. All right, listen up. The remaining Raiden fighters in the Bellwether are holding the air. Stick tight to the Bellwether and watch each other's backs. No need to make this harder by going solo. Carbon dioxide at 95.32%, nitrogen at 2.7%, argon at 1.6%, oxygen at 0.13%. I should remember this, but why can't I? Focus up, Portman. Eyes on the fight. The battle comes first. You can obsess over the atmosphere all you want once we're clear of this. Uh, yes, sir. Apologies. It's just that specific atmospheric composition. It matches something I've studied. To find it here, of all places. Right in here. Target acquisition below standard. Too many misses. I'm regrouping now. Won't let Earth down on this. Ready to correct course. Over. Are they through? Affirmative, sir. Raiden has successfully breached the gate. Way too close for comfort. I believe they're insane. Let's keep it that way. This is about taking them down, not taking ourselves out. Civilization, progress, blah blah blah. Give me a view of the ocean. Something worth my time or a target to blast. This scrap heap is just killing my vibe. Ocean, ocean, water, carbon dioxide. Analysis. General! I've got it! Carbon dioxide at 95.32%, nitrogen at 2.7, argon at 1.6, oxygen at 0.13. It... it's Mars! That's why it was so familiar to me. This alien atmosphere matches Mars exactly. The same as Mars? Is that so? Well, I'm not sure where that leaves us, or if I even want to know right now. We've always believed that Earth's water was the key to life, while Mars remained barren without it. But then, there was water buried under Mars' surface. So what went wrong? Was it the atmosphere, or was something else at play? Not a clue. I'm not the expert here. And right now, I'm not sure knowing would even help. Could it be the opposite? Water appears, then life follows. So, shouldn't that apply to all planets with water? Let me get this straight. If these crystals have their way, they'll strip life, water, and oxygen from any planet they proliferate on. 
Are we really facing that kind of annihilation? I questioned it from the beginning. If the crystals were relying solely on contaminated weapons, it shouldn't be nearly this devastating. There's more to their method than we accounted for. So, this whole contamination scheme was just a warm-up act. They're actually reshaping the entire planet? Ha! Huh. Well, they certainly don't mess around. But where does that leave us, exactly? If invasion of the Earth isn't their ultimate goal, then what's driving them to reshape the planet? I don't have all the facts, but we might be making a critical error in our assumptions. What if the Crystal's objective is far beyond what we initially thought? I want a detailed chemical analysis of those crystals around Ryden. Get to it immediately. Acknowledge. These crystals are largely hydrogen and oxygen. Nearly pure condensed water. Strange composition for something so dangerous. What are you saying? That means that these crystals here are clearly different from the contaminating ones we've been seeing since the beginning. Water here would dissolve much of the atmospheric carbon dioxide, like on early Earth. We could be seeing a setup for ocean formation, and possibly even primitive life. Are we looking at a total reset? From barren wasteland to a life-sustaining planet? Are you implying that this happened to Mars and the same thing could happen to Earth? Seriously? They're going for a clean slate, like wiping the board and starting over? This isn't a straightforward invasion. It's a full-scale transformation, way beyond anything we prepared for. How are we supposed to fight something that can reshape entire planets? This is way beyond us. We'll keep pushing forward. I have leave coming up, and I'd hate to miss it because of a few hostile crystals. <laughs> Thanks for that, Portman. Sometimes we need that reminder. We're military, and we do what's needed. One step at a time. Let's keep our heads in the game and finish what we started. You know, Portman... I didn't think anyone here could make staring down death sound this reasonable. Impressive. Are these crystals part of a single civilization? Or do they act independently? Then again, do they even grasp what a civilization is? Sir, electromagnetic interference around ride in spiking. We're experiencing rapid signal degradation. If this continues, contact will be fully severed. Raiden, do you copy? Acknowledge. What's your status out there? Respond, damn it! We've lost contact, sir. However, the biometric monitor is still showing life signs. There's still a chance they're alive out there. Sir, I don't understand any of this. If I could make sense of it, I would, Eshiria, but I can't just say we're being punished. This feels like something ancient, something that reminds us how fragile we are. Right, so here's hoping right end goes through. I'm not ready to say goodbye to steak dinners and ocean views. Earth still owes me a long, lazy beach day, and I don't plan on missing it. There's nothing more we can do. All we can do is hope, no prey, that Raiden comes back victorious. Raiden, if there's any chance you can hear me, just return to us safe, please.
Sir, all enemy signals have gone silent. Confirmed. No movement from crystal contaminated units across all sectors. It's like they... just stopped. Wait. So Raiden really did it? Ha! Huh. Guess they're more stubborn than those crystals. Sir, it's Raiden. We have contact. Bellwether, Raiden here. Mission accomplished. Bringing it home now. Over. Raiden, you've done us proud. Bring it home. We're waiting for you.